Well, welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Kelly Stewart, joined by Steve Merrill at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L on Twitter, and Tony Mejia at Mejia De Niro. Make sure you're giving both these guys a follow. Quality info coming from both of them. Green Bay at Chicago. Look, this one's interesting. I didn't know if Green Bay was going to have to have something to play for or not, but it looks like they will. The Green Bay Packers are now a five and a half point favorite pretty much across the board. Five at some of the sharper shops. Total 52, even some 51 and a halfs on the board. Tony, I'm going to go to you first. Your thoughts on this NFC North matchup. Do the Bears have a shot? I mean, they have a shot, but yeah, Kansas City gets to rest starters as the AFC's number one seed, and Green Bay needs to go all out to get the NFC's number one seed and not have to play on uh, the initial weekend of the NFL playoffs where everybody else does. So from that standpoint, I think the spread should actually be seven. Um, I don't care that uh, you know we're, we're we're going to Soldier Field. The motivation and the fact that Green Bay is significantly the better football team uh, really g- gives me a little trepidation into why this is at five, five and a half, and I, I assume it'll creep into six, six and a half, seven territory uh, when public money comes in. And obviously, you rarely want to be involved with public money. Uh, when everybody's on one side. But I don't see a way that you can justify saying, I like the Bears here. I mean, Mitchell Trubisky has done a really nice job over the last few weeks. Uh, Montgomery has caught fire, but they just come off a victory against a team that wanted to lose. Their fans were legitimately out there cheering uh, when the Jaguars got further and further behind. Uh, And most of the success that the Bears have had this season has come against really bad football teams. And then they had the, uh, you know, the, the, the spell where they couldn't get out of their own way. And it leads you to the final question, week 17, what Bears team do you trust? Who are the, these guys, uh, you know, at their core? And yes, they have some talent, obviously Khalil Mack and, uh, you know, front, I, I think you like what the Bears do on the defensive front. On the offensive front, it's a really bad offensive line. And ultimately Mitchell Trubisky is your quarterback. And you're going up against Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams, who has, you know, nobody has been able to stop despite double teams, despite anything that you want to do to that. Nice uh, running back in Aaron Jones as well. Uh, Bulaga going to the Chargers hasn't really set them back the way I anticipated it might. Uh, so this is a Green Bay Packers team that deserves to be the number one seed. And I think they get it done. And I think they get it done with a cover. Yeah, Tony, I- I'm with you. Look, I love betting divisional underdogs, particularly at home. The Bears I have circled on my long list. I just don't know if they can step up in competition here. Steve, your thoughts on this matchup? And do you think the Bears have a shot here? I know that Tony said he made the game seven. Yeah, I'll give you, uh, Tony, something to think about here while they maybe do have a shot, and that is Mitchell Trubisky being back at quarterback. You know, who would have thought you'd rather have Trubisky than Super Bowl champ Nick Foles? But um, it's been night and day if you look at the results for the Bears this year at the two quarterbacks. Now, I will say that they played a tougher schedule with Foles. As Tony said, they've been beaten up on weaker teams, and Trubisky's been the starter for many of those games. But the Bears are still 6-2 and two straight up with Trubisky, and they were just 2-5 and five straight up with Foles this year. His first game back was that Chicago blowout loss against Green Bay on the road five weeks ago. Uh, but the Bears still moved the ball offensively in that game. They just couldn't stop the Packers. So that's why I think the safer play here is actually the over. Now, unfortunately, when I used this on Tuesday afternoon on the Wager Talk Today show, it was 50 and a half. And I mentioned how 51 is such a key number. It's now, as you said, Kelly, 51 and a half, 52. So we've crossed over that key number of 51 early in the week already. Um, But I still think the over is the right play here. That was sharp money that pushed it over on Tuesday afternoon. Um, And I still agree with that move. Both these offenses, I think, can move the ball. The biggest thing that jumped out to me when I was running the numbers on the two quarterbacks Foles was one and six under to the under. Six of his went under, 37 and a half points a game. Trubisky's eight starts, six and two to the over, 53 and a half total points a game. And um, that's been the difference has been the quarterbacks. And that's why Chicago has won three in a row here. And that's why they're back in playoff contention. And I think the over, even though it's crept up over 51 and a half here, the over is still the best way to play this one on Sunday. All right, great stuff from Tony and Steve. Make sure you guys head over to our Wager Talk YouTube channel. Check out that show. Steve Merrill was just talking about Wager Talk today, and make sure you check out all of our other game previews.